Hello there, this is Extra Drill 1201 here for the Verdant Win 0% Gross Run. Yes, it is me doing it and not Ringor. So essentially what happened was that I messaged Ringor asking him when he was going to do his Verdant Win Run. And he said that he didn't really feel like it. He just felt as though it was boring and it was too easy. And me, liking 0% Gross Runs and... Also, just seeing this as, a, as an opportunity to do another one and publish it, went, hey, why don't I do it? So he just uh, walked me down the process of how to do, how to hack uh, free houses. It's actually not that hard. It's honestly not even that tedious. Honestly, f doing Fate 0% was more tedious because it's like there's a male version and the female version of every class, and that's just annoying. So here, I just have Dimitri and Elgar trade all their items to Claude. So that way I can just steal their stuff. Uh, this is... I'm going to be playing extremely turtly here. But that's primarily because I want to feed every single kill I can to Claude and Byleth. Primarily Claude. Uh, I'm going to be honest. This is my first time doing a maddening run. So this is going to be very interesting. So here... I, I don't really have a game plan. Uh, later... Throughout this map, I sporadically feed Claude kills using an Iron Axe. Because uh, I remember talking to Ceiling, who did the Azuri Moon LTC. And she said that, oh, train Claude in Axes, because he has an Axe proficiency. I was like, okay, sure. The Axe hit isn't really the best. At first, it has like 58 hit, but I think after support points, it raises up to 70, which is a lot better, but not that reliable. <laughs> There's honestly not really much to that map. So, this... The uploading of the videos are going to be rather sporadic. I'm not going to upload them daily. I'm just going to upload them when I finish them. <laughs> if I have commentary to add, I will add commentary. But if I have nothing else to say, then I'll just leave the rest of the video just i guess <laughs> blank with maybe some music track playing maybe relevant to the game maybe not either way so i do want to say that i am going to compile a zero percent gross patch of sorts and i say of sorts because you because the thing with modding zero free houses uh, have zero percent it's rather tricky so you have to modify two things you need to modify the class groves and the unit groves class groves is fine that's just going using a hex editing file and a hex editing template and then just lowering all the class groves to zero now with the units it gets tricky so for some reason koei tecmo just decided to just be weird and have the enemy stats of the un uh, the enemy stats of the out of house units and the faculty members tied to the groves I instead of just having the enemy bases be you know consistent and separate. No, they just decided to have it tied to the groves for some reason. Same with the students when they join out of house. Yeah, when you recruit them out of house, they come with consistent stats. They're going to come with the same stats. It's not random. But for some reason, those consistent those stats, even though they're consistent, are tied to the growths. So basically, what I have to do is I have to leave them alone. I can't lower them before I start the game because it basically just messes with their enemy stats as well as the predetermined stats when they join at specific times. But when I recruit them, I have to lower their stats afterward. So... When I release the 0% patch of sorts, I am essentially going to have an imager album, or maybe a video. Honestly, a video might be better. But either way, I'm going to have instructions detailing how to lower unit stats. I was originally planning on making three separate versions. One for uh, Crimson Flower, one for Missouri Moon, and one for Verdant Wind. But Rangor made a good point, which is that, you know, teach... Let them do the unit house themselves so that way when they have to do the faculty and the out of house students you know it, it just comes naturally to them and i was like okay yeah that makes sense so i'm just gonna release that so the class groves are already gonna be 
di- you know, disabled. They're already going to be at zero. And I will be providing the person data bin so that way you can manually edit the growths themselves. I, I, I love how <laughs> Prologue is so boring that I kind of just spent more time talking uh, about the hacking process in the map itself. There's really not much to the map. It, it's honestly, it, it really is just me sporadically feeding Claude as well as Byleth. Uh In hindsight, I could have fed Byleth kills with the Lance so that way I can get to Peg but I don't know. I forget if Peg even has a good basis. So I got to look into that. Yeah, I'm going to have to do like a lot of research. So uh, in advance, thanks to Rangor for the hacking as well as also potential strategies in the future. Also, thanks for C- to Ceiling because I, I know I, I'm sure as hell going to ask her for a lot of help. <laughs> uh. No, no, no. But seriously, thank thank them both. This is definitely not going to be an LTC. (laughs) By a long shot. But this should be interesting, honestly. I know I'm planning on using uh, Mercedes out of house, since apparently her healing is actually rather good, and it's easier than having to level up Marianne. Then I'm also planning on maybe Hilda and... I guess Sylvain. I have female Byleth. I have female Byleth just for Pegasus, but I could also get Sylvain instantly, which I don't need to even get him instantly. I've been recommended to get him at Chapter 7. <laughs> which is kind of nice. Oh yeah, also, uh, this isn't happening at the moment, but later, <laughs> I have Byleth in the bush, and it basically relied on dodge tanking, because if both the boss and the dude hit, I would have been dead. So thank God for dodge tanking, which is nice. So the video footage is actually happening a lot faster, but in real time, it was basically running at like 15, 20 frames a second. But at least it looks nice for when I upload it on YouTube. So that's pretty cool. (laughs) So yeah. I'm just going to let the rest of the video play because there's not really much for me to say. But I do want to say thanks for watching. I think this run is going to be fun. I think it's certainly going to be interesting. I'm going to learn along the way. So that's going to be nice.